Hello, we're going to read The Very Noisy Foxes. In a very noisy house, in a very noisy city, lived three noisy foxes. Wouldn't it be nice to be quiet sometimes? asked fox number one. Perhaps we should move to the countryside, suggested fox number two. What a good idea, replied fox number three. Vroom! So they packed up all of their very noisy things and caught the very noisy bus to find a place to live in the very quiet countryside. In a very quiet wood, in the very quiet countryside, they met an owl. Tweet twoot, who are you? hooted the owl. We are from the very noisy city, looking for a very quiet place to live, replied fox number one. Where do you live, owl? I live up here, at the top of this very tall, quiet tree, the owl said. Oh yes, it is very quiet, but it's too high for us, said fox number one. We're scared. Next, in a very quiet meadow, in the very quiet countryside, the noisy foxes met a mole, who popped up out of the ground. Hello mole, we are from the noisy city looking for a quiet place to live. Can you help us? asked fox number two. Oh yes, I live in a very quiet place, replied the mole. Follow me and I'll show you. I live here in this very quiet hole underground, said the mole. Oh yes, it is very quiet, but it is too dark for us, said fox number two. We can't see. In a very quiet clearing in the very quiet countryside, the noisy foxes met a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, what do you three noisy foxes want? the frog asked. We are looking for a quiet place to live, said fox number three. Where do you live, frog? Come with me and I'll show you, replied the frog. I live here in this very quiet pond, said the frog. Oh yes, it is very quiet indeed, but it is too wet for us, said fox number three. We can't swim. So the three noisy foxes kept searching for a very, very long time and they ended up in the very quietest part of the countryside, a long, long way from the very noisy city. As they ventured along the very quiet path, they met a badger. Hello badger, we are looking for a quiet place to live, said the noisy foxes. Can you help us? We have looked everywhere. Yes, of course, follow me, replied the badger. This is where I live, said the badger. It is the quietest place in all the countryside. Oh yes, it really is very quiet and very lovely. It might be just the perfect place, said the noisy foxes, but it's just too quiet. The noisy foxes were really fed up with being quiet so they started to make some noise as they banged and clanged and chittered and chattered a quiet little mouse scurried up to them what is all the noise about asked the quiet little mouse we need a place to live but it can't be too high it can't be too dark it can't be too wet and it definitely can't be too quiet i know the perfect place squeaked the mouse follow me
Well done, little mouse. This really is the perfect place. And that is the end of our story. Bye.